profile portfolios, and in fact, all the cabinet secretaries for foreign affairs for the last nine years of my term have been women, and we have seen how they have placed our country globally. Of equal note is that my administration has also fast-tracked the promotion of women in leadership in our security sector. I appointed Fatuma Ahmed as the first woman major general of our defense forces in 2018. Similarly, the first holder of the constitutional office of Auditor General of our Republic was appointed under my administration, Mrs. Nancy Gadongo, and she was appointed in 2021 and continues to serve the Republic in that capacity. And of course, we have our three arms of government, one of which is now headed by a woman. After 58 years of our independence, in May of 2021, I had the profound honor of being the first President of the Republic to commence an address with a salutation, Madam Chief Justice, when the Honorable Lady Justice Martha Kome assumed office as the first woman Chief Justice. We are also proud of the fact that Kenya's judiciary boasts a female Deputy Chief Justice, a female Chief Registrar, and many female principal judges and presiding judges across our superior courts. <laughs> Going further, in August of this year, if it is the wish of the Kenyan electorate, we have a chance of electing a woman and shattering the glass ceiling by assuming the second highest office in the Republic of Kenya. So ladies and gentlemen, if our women were part of the liberation struggle, advancing their cause intentionally is a duty that belongs to all of us. We owe it to them, we owe it to ourselves, and we owe it to our country. And I am indeed proud to have been part of this push for women leadership in our republic. <laughs> Fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> now I will give a further account of how my, my administration has multiplied the fruits of our liberation. <laughs> 